Is Sean Strickland a hypocrite? Insane or both? Sean Strickland, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, Sean, we, Sean we down shit. with. Yep. I just want to be the people's champion, you know? Like like the guy that you meet at a bar that's complaining about fucking Biden. Right? That's, that's me. I'm just a people. I'm a guy. I'm a guy like you guys. Sean Strickland impressed me so much in that out of sign of fight. My God. You know, they have this UFC bout piece that they were using that registers how many times you get hit. Yeah. He spars the most and gets hit the least. It's very interesting. You have a very interesting style. There's no one like you. I'm already a step ahead. So it frustrates people with me is I hide by it. Sorry, I'm not playing. I have a full on conversation. Don't wait for the punch, read the body. Step one. If you throw an overhand and I'm tense, it takes so much longer for me to. But if I'm just right here, relax, and you say overhand, it's already there. It's there. You say, Jan, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Now I do that by being relaxed. Just because I'm relaxed doesn't mean I'm relaxed. Relax. I'm focused. Focused. I'm relaxed. To truly answer that question, we have to go back to the beginning. Like, I had fucking, um, yeah, it's crazy shit, dude. Dude, I remember, like, laying in bed. Like, I remember I stopped believing in God, man. Like, fucking, <laughs> my dad gets on top of my mom. She says, like, I remember he said, like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. So he starts strangling her, and I get out, and I, the only thing I could see is a guitar. I just fucking crack him in the head, call the cops. And then he gives a jab, run down the street, calls the cops, arrest my dumbass mom, bailed him out of jail. Oh. But it's like, I mean, even that, like, I mean, that was like, I wouldn't even say that's the tip of the iceberg. Sean's father was an abusive drunk who imposed his ignorant and racist views onto Sean. By the time Sean was 11, he was sporting a swastika and he kept a loaded gun in his room. Like, I was so angry. I, it's funny, I actually went through like this weird, like, neo Nazi white supremacist phase when I was younger. I got kicked out of school for like hate crime, like all this crazy shit. Sean was headed down a dark path. You know, if it wasn't UFC, I'd probably be cooking meth in a trailer in prison. So I'm grateful to the fans, to the UFC. You guys have gave me purpose and I appreciate that. Everything began to shift when he found MMA. The first time in my life that I ever felt happiness. Like even when I think about it, dude, it makes my eyes water. I was like 14 years old, you know, I was just like a fucking fuck up loser, man. And my mom brought me to an MMA gym and I got the shit kicked out of me. Just fucking like, got the bloody fucking nose. I remember walking out like, wow, this is what it feels like to be happy. Like I've never fucking felt it. It was in the gym where Tarzan channeled all of his rage, released his ignorant views and found himself. I would love to fucking cut somebody open and I'm not angry. Like, it just sounds nice. Healthy or unhealthy, he began to fight his way to the top. In 2018, Strickland faced off with Nordini Taleb, and he won via technical knockout. This would be the first of a six-fight win streak. A streak that came to an end when he fought Alex Pereira. After his Pereira loss, he lost again to Jared Cannonier, but Strickland didn't let that get him down. On short notice, he stepped in to fight Nasserdine Imavov, and he ended up winning via unanimous decision. Another win against Abusupi and Magomedov followed. Sean Tarzan Strickland! Fast forward to September 2023 when Tarzan answered the call to replace Dreykus Duplessis in his title fight with Israel Adesanya. When he beat Israel Adesanya, he shocked the world. Labeled as the underdog, nobody expected him to win, including Strickland himself. And he, he doesn't hold back. He's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Hell, they gave me the title fight because nobody else was there to fight. Uh, and he was just telling the truth. But the moment he got to the octagon, he beat Izzy, man. I'm pretty much over it now, guys. It was exciting for like a, you know, a month, a minute, but now it's just on and there. And then day, guys, here's the thing, guys. Say, say me and Izzy fight again. And say, say, say the kind of man clips me. And then Izzy's sitting here and he's saying, how does it feel to be a world champion, you know, as is acrylic fucking nail. So like, a lot of this is bullshit. I like the fucking fight, I like the fans, I love my job, but a lot of this is fucking bullshit. Is there more to Strickland than self-deprecating humor, lewd comments, and offensive views? 
you guys need to get hit by your dads a little bit more. Not even hit, not like, not disciplined. You guys don't need to be like, I didn't take out the trash, hit. You guys need to get like an alcoholic rage beating and then you'll start fucking learning how to have, you know, nuts. One minute Sean is revealing his traumatic childhood and the next he's advocating child abuse. He talks nonstop about being a real man and what a real man is. You know, he's talking about people's wives. You know, he was talking like pretty heavy about things personal and then somebody talks about things personal in his life and he's just crying and then saying that you shouldn't talk about that. I remember seeing him like make fun of people in the UFC press conferences for, for crying and then he, he cries on a podcast and then has like a whole bunch of justifications for it. I think it, it is hypocritical to be so vulnerable towards your situation when people call you out on it, to be so affected by it, but yet to throw shots at anyone who's on the desk with you. I don't watch it. I don't think I will. You know, watching a grown man cry in an interview is not my, it's not really my watch material that I go and watch, but you know, it is, it is what it is. I mean, I'm glad he cried and he got it out. I hope it's the end of that. Yeah, I think we give him a lot more credit than he deserves in terms of mindset. I don't think he thinks about anything. What's been going on with Sean Strickland? Oh, you need to go to therapy. <laughs> He's got a lot right. of stuff to deal with. When you're a minor, minor sociopath too, you know, you kind of get power out of that. You kind of get a little right. kick out of it. Like, oh yeah, what if I could make him kill himself? The fighter takes aim at anyone at any time and the list of who he has offended grows day by day. I'd imagine the UFC dreads Strickland's antics and his loud mouth. Oh man, I made the champion man with his frosted tips and his watch. Oh no! There's some things that were off limits. You don't really, you know, you don't talk about a man's wife. You don't talk about a man's kids. So the wife went through like, she got fucking ran through on the soccer scene. So she wrote a book on how to be a wag, on how to be a famous woman with an athlete or how to be a woman with an athlete. Yeah. Bitch wrote a book about this like eight years ago. Okay. And like in 10 years, she's gonna hit that gill status, you know? Hello. So this young man who probably didn't get a lot of pussy, he goes and falls into this black hole, right? And then the sucky bitch is what I like to call her. Try to let dudes fuck his wife. Chino's a fucking stand-up motherfucker. He's a oh, fucking hard on. man. Let's make America I got you again. fucking Chino, let's, let's go. go. And now we got the fucking clown over here. And you over there rooting for this fucking guy, dude. This guy's a fucking clown. He ain't a, a rich fucking clown, man. baby. And rich you got Happy clown, Dad baby. over there fucking jerking him off the whole time. Speaking of Happy Dad. Go, go and let dudes fuck your wife. This is fucking crazy, bro. We need to bring back men to this fucking sport. And I never would talk about anybody's wife. Like, it's not what I do. I've never done it. But the moment you put your woman in the center of your life, I mean, that's why he got kicked out of that gym. The moment, the moment you take a woman who should be in a fucking kitchen, you know, fucking keeping the house right, doing, raising a family, Maybe we can't all agree that Sean is a hypocrite, but I think we can agree he is unapologetically himself. I'd like to learn some Chinese. Let's do it. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I should already start. How do you say work harder, child? A tough motherfucker, you know? Besides the anime, the guy probably jerks off the cartoons. I hold that against you. Guarantee you. I guarantee you, Izzy, you have jerked off the cartoons once in your life. Don't fucking lie. Think about like every mass shooting ever happened. Okay. Every match that ever happened, at one point, that man went to go get some pussy. Yeah. He went to go get some pussy, and he had some woman say, like, nah, fuck, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna suck your dick. And what I'm saying to you is women need to put out more. Because no man has ever walked into a mall or a school and say, no, I got so much fucking pussy. I got so much fucking pussy, guys, I just couldn't fucking take it. I couldn't fucking take it. Kevin Holland, he's Kevin Holland. I don't, I think I told him I could rape him in prison one day and it bothered him. But I'm just saying the facts, dude. I'm just saying the fucking facts, man. If me and you were in a jail cell together and I wanted to, like... I could take that out. Sean even went as far as to attack his next opponent, Drykus. I don't know, maybe a couple of them got on top of the head, but the Drykus sort of grabbed him and just sort of uh, ran him and then went into the into the chairs. Security guards were there. They got there pretty quick. I don't know how they did. I sort of think I might have seen that. I don't know, but uh, Craig Jones reckons he might have seen uh, Sean Strickland. Obviously, while, his, while uh, Drykus was on him, trying to bite his ear and ah, like trying to do stuff, hey. What I truly want is the fucking... Like make somebody hurt. Fucking hurt, yes. You know, and then the problem is like it makes me vol it makes me volatile. So I don't really even to this day, like I don't go out much. You can't trust yourself, probably. I can't trust myself. Because I want to. It's not like it's not yeah. like I get angry. And like when I went to attack Drake, I wasn't angry. Yeah. When I went to attack I was joyful. Oh, I, I want I was more than happy. It almost seemed like a Christmas attack. <laughs> you know? like, hey. It's the only thing that made me happy. I'm like, I remember sitting there like <laughs> 
as like, I mean, because once I fucking, he started tackling me, and I started dropping like these 12 o'clock yeah. elbows. You will get a <laughs> sentimental and I'm just feeling. Yeah. Bro, and that was so fucked up too, and I'm so happy they didn't get it from the right angle. I bit him. Uh-uh. I shit you not. You're a better person than you were then. It seems like you kind of like fall back on this, I'm a piece of shit thing. It's almost like you use that as like a little bit of a shield. shield. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do that. Is Sean Strickland the MMA fighter of the year?